Okay, we're taking a look now at the 1x portal for IP Office. This is a call control application, so this is not my telephone. I'm actually associated with either a digital or an IP phone. In this case, it happens to be a digital phone sitting to my right. The uh, call control, basically all my signaling and, and, you know, dialing people and, you know, playing voicemail, I can do all that, all that through the web interface. In this case, I happen to be using Chrome. However, I could use, you know, Safari, Internet Explorer, or for that matter, I could use uh, Firefox. So, you know, it's web control. So the first thing I'm going to do here is talk about these four areas I have. So top left, this is actually my active call control. So if I'm on a phone call, for example, I'll go ahead and type a number in here. Hit enter. And that places a call. Now you see that actually I'm on this call. So I can drop the person, hold the person, record the person, mute the person, right? So all those things are available now that I'm, you know, transfer or consult. So all these things become available on an active call, okay? So next what I want to do is, is let's say I wanted to add another person into the call. I'll go ahead and I'll type in another number, and I think I have 310. So I'll go ahead now and I'll say conference. So now you see I have my conference call here. I have my participants. I can drop someone, mute someone. I can also lock the call if I don't want to have anyone additionally to join. I could do a drop all or do a mute all. So if I was in like a lecture, you know, training session, I could do that. So this will let me do on demand like I'm seeing here. Or if I had people calling into my meet me bridge, I also could see and control them here. Okay? So those are things that I can do in this active call control area. Uh, let me go ahead and hang up these other phones. I could also click on here to get a dial pad if I wanted to dial out versus typing the number in. Okay? So those are things I can do in that upper left. And just real quickly before I move on, I also, if I want to have a you know subject for the call or account codes, depending on how you're set up and what you're using, you're able to have those functions. You'll notice over here I have the you know more or less. So normally it's going to be this way. If you're using those features, you can click on that and actually open up to have additional things for you know account code use, etc. Okay, so that's the upper left quadrant of this tool. The lower left quadrant of this tool, this is visual voicemail, but it's through a web interface. So if you're familiar with our phones, the we have the ability to do visual voicemail on the set or through the set and see the list of the calls that, you know, have voicemail, etc. So here I have three calls. The yellow envelope, this is a brand new message, so it's an unenvelope, unopened envelope, right? This one is a message that was listened to, and this one I've saved, so it's a blue disk. So those different icons will tell you what status that call is in. Let's say I want to play this message. I can just check it, and now I have all my call control here. I can play, fast forward, stop. And in this case, I'm playing it through the phone, but I could also change that very quickly and make it play through the, you know, PC or laptop, right? So that's what this is going to do. I also have something else here, though. Besides having the actual voicemails that I can listen to, I'm seeing present status, okay? So if I decide, well, instead of listening to messages, call Scott right back, I can just click on that, call him right back. Now let's tie that in. So over here... I have the different, these are personal, so these are ones that I've basically set up. I can federate with Google Talk, or these are users off the system. Now, specifically why I say that is because here, I'm actually going to be able to instant message that person, right? So, as an example, I'm going to go over here to my system, and I happen to know that I have Lindsay as a user here. So I will go ahead and do a chat to Lindsay. And that pops up over on, in this case, I happen to be running my soft phone. 
and I'll pull that out of the way there, but I have my soft phone and I can answer back. And you see back and forth. So I can instant message again, instant messaging through the 1X Portal server available on 1X Portal, this application. It's also available on the soft phone, also available on 1X Mobile Preferred, also available on the Flare client. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. But I'm also seeing presence, as, as we said, so I can calendar mine from Exchange, or I can see from the phone system availability as well. Okay? And as I mentioned, I can also federate that with Google Talk. I could call someone, bring them on a conference, you know, my conference bridge, or I could uh, chat with them. And that leaves us with this area here the bottom right quadrant so this is my call log right so I can see all the calls incoming calls outgoing calls missed calls or all calls okay so I can see you know who called what I like about this call log too let's say I wasn't logged in and now I log in because it's being tracked by the system you know even though I wasn't logged in at whatever time it's gonna show me hey before you logged in there was a missed call from whoever so it's keeping all that data even if I'm not physically logged in. Now other areas here just to kind of show you so it's detecting I'm available I could change my availability I could come up here and make myself do not disturb doing a demo and that's going to change me to be unavailable so now people will see me as do not disturb okay I'll go ahead and take that off Make myself available again. Okay. So other things you can do with this tool. Now depending on, uh, first of all, some people like to change the skins. So I happen to have the darker skin there. You can have a lighter skin so I can kind of switch those things around. In configuration, depending on what version of license you're running. So if you're an office worker, this is just for desktop call control. If you're a teleworker or a power user, you can do an additional thing with this tool, which is I can set this up to work from home, something called telecommuter. So I would actually come in here and, for example, under home, I could come in and edit it and tell it I'm going to run as telecommuter mode. And I'll put my phone number in there like I would dial it from the office, right? So I'll put in there a phone number. It's obviously not the real number. Okay. Now I'll hit OK. I'll save that. And when I pick that home profile, and I don't have any trunks right now, so it's not going to let me do it. But if I pick that home profile, it would call me at home. So what will happen is a call comes in the IP office. That call would be sent to my home phone. But I'll also be alerted with this tool that there's a call coming in, and it'll show me the caller ID here. So I'm working from home, maybe it's a snow emergency, maybe it's some other reason. I can be working from home and see, you know, who's calling me, or if I call using this tool, it'll call me at home first and then call out to that person from the office. So it looks like I'm sitting at my desk in the office, but in reality, I am actually working from home. So that's just a real quick overview of the 1X Portal application. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you.